Welcome to day two of our challenge. Today we are going to be basically doing a lot of the cleanup as well as adding some line variation with our brushes and give you some different little options. So we're going to go through the next little step. This one's going to be pretty quick and we're going to start to move into the cleanup phase where we're going to start to expand and we're going to start to move into prepping for our color. So let's just go through some basics here. We've already laid down all of our line work. Now a good little habit to get into is as soon as you start to move into next steps, save as well as duplicate out the layer. So all I'm gonna do is drop down to duplicate drawing, lock that one out, and then I'm just gonna hide it. So that's if I ever wanna go back or if I add the brushes or if I keep moving. At a certain point, we're gonna start to expand the lines, which means it's no longer in this fancy nice little stroke form. So it's always nice to just be able to go back and go back to the original. So the amount of times I've gone through, sped through it, and then I've hit a point where I said, ooh, I would have liked to move that line a little bit. It's much more of a pain once everything's expanded out and in the two shapes. And we'll go through that in the next, basically at the end, you'll kind of see as we start expanding. So in your brush menu, what I would like you to do is down at the bottom, you're going to... Go to other library, I've already installed mine. Just click on other library, find your downloaded folder. Mine is in the desktop. And what we are gonna be looking for is our cartoon brushes tinted. Now I've only given you one, just so you can see what it is. Now we have a bunch of other ones in your resource folder if you ever wanna go back through and grab those. So I'm just gonna, and I've already done it by the way. So I have my cartoon brushes. And what we're gonna start to do is basically add up thickness. And we also wanna be doing kind of some thick and some thin. So let's just go through brushes 101 a little bit. Now whenever we are looking at a line, if you want it to start looking fancy, if it's floating out in space, I'm usually looking at the edges first, going, hey, is it connecting? So if I say, hey, these are just floating out in space, then I could do tapers on both lines. Hey, this one's floating out in space. That one can be tapered on both. Floating out in space and then hitting something. Well, now I have some other options. That one's going to be tapered, tapered. And you're going to notice that all I'm doing right now is just laying it down. I do have some different options when it comes to where the thickness comes in. So I'm just selecting it. Now if you wanna go through and say, hey, I wanna look at each one individually or if I wanna do them all at once, a lot of the times, depending on which line we clicked first is gonna depend on which direction these brushes go in. So that's why I've saved both directions. These are basically the same and I've actually duplicated it, which shame on me, but. I think I was testing out a process. So if it goes in the wrong directions, I'm just clicking on it. And just like our anchor point guide, it basically, no, no matter what, it's gonna go in the wrong way. Click, click on that one. I think I want that just to be solid. These are gonna be solid. I think I want that one over. That's what this one is. Let's do a little C right here. Bags under eye, okay. Now it makes more sense. Now it's making sense. I'm gonna go fat on both sides. I'm gonna go fat on both sides. This one's gonna be fat down here by the chin and then it's gonna taper. You're gonna also notice that right now I'm just picking out what the brush is gonna look like. So I'm not focusing too much yet on the thickness yet. And then if I'm not doing it, that just means it's gonna be a basic line style. Oh, let's go fat on both ends. Uh, these are going to be basic. Good. 
Now let's just go through, and I'm just going to tuck that guy right back on over. Space bar. Okay, so brushes are done. And now we are going to start to just add up thicknesses. So let's just go control A. And I think I want to just... Most of this is going to get pretty thick. And I want to just do three as our standard. And then I can always drop stuff down. Not everything is going to be a three. Let's select those. Let's just drop those down. Two. Just zoom in so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to grab our basics. I want these to be six. And a lot of the times why we do the brushes, and this is going to be way personal preference, just so everyone is aware. Some people like no line variation. Some people like a lot of line variation. I personally like really, really heavy lines. So it's just going to be really what type of style you are looking for. But what this will also do is it'll make it look a little bit fancier compared to if I just have everything being the exact same and or if I don't have any line width whatsoever. Okay, that's going to get filled in. I still say there's too many lines, but that's okay. All right, so let's move into a little bit of cleanup now. So you're going to notice that some of these edges aren't connecting. So I'm going to be on white arrow, and I'm just extending those over. And I'll zoom in so you guys can see what we're doing here. So what I'm looking for is any type of gaps. Now, overlapped lines, totally fine. So if you see anything that's overlapping, that is an easy, easy cleanup. So all we are looking for is the opposite, where things are a little bit short. And also, if once we add on any of our lines here, if I want to adjust, I can always move things. So I'm looking for little corners that are shorts good just going through each little one I think we're looking good nothing is standing out and of course I always say that and of course I always find one later every time All right, so again, you're looking for like any little weird corners that are hanging out. These little overlap lines, those are totally fine. If you want to spend the time matching those up, you're a better man than I, Gunga Din. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Good, good, good. Control zero. I'm going to go file, save. So every time we hit a little bit of a level, just remember, save check. And then I'm also going to duplicate. So I'm now going to subtract. So this is where we're going to be pretty much done with the just adding thickness. 
So we are moving into the world of shapes, so our strokes are going to go away. So what I would always recommend is this is the one you want. So all of this leading up to it is all of our strokes are done. We've added our brushes or whatever we're going to be doing with it. This is the one you want to save. So I definitely want to have my original. This is the one that I have most control over. And I've already added my thicknesses. So I want to duplicate this one out. I'm going to come on over. I'm going to select everything. We're going to basically do it twice. I'm going to go expand, object, expand. And then I'm going to hit OK. Black arrow. Let's just zoom in, control plus. Now, any of those overlaps, I know a lot of you have been saying, well, what about all of these overlaps? All I have to do is select the arrow or select whatever one is overlapping. I'm going to go shift E. Now, I can use my bracket keys to adjust the size. And this is the eraser, by the way. So this is the same as our scissor tool that we've been using. And all I have to do is say, hey, let's just get rid of any of those overlap lines. So this is just pure and simple. I'm going to select it. You can treat it just like you would be normally drawing with the eraser. All of these are going to be combined anyway. So just any little thing that you say, hey, that doesn't necessarily work out. And while I like starting with really thick lines is you have a little bit of flexibility, you'll notice that I can hide things within lines. So that'll make your lives very, very easy, especially as we're moving forward here. Okay. And again, I'm just going through boogie checking. The more you zoom in, the better. But you're going to notice as we expanded, this is what it does. So notice that all of our lines are now, if I, we've got a big giant shape. So if I go back to what the other version was, this would be a stroke. So notice that it just has one stroke going through. Our new version is everything is considered a shape. All right, I think we are looking good. Now what I would do grab everything now you're going to notice there's all of these little strays i'm going to color it black i'm also going to come over to pathfinder most of these lines are pretty good i might adjust things in a little bit but i do want to just let's unite everything and all that does is it takes all of our blacks and just merges them all together so if i zoom in you're going to notice that we had all of those random lines hiding. Now everything is nice and clean, and it is all one big shape. Look at how easy that was. Okay, control zero. Deselect. I'm going to go file, save. Okay, that was it. So that was basically our inking and adding on our brushwork. So you're going to notice that this was pretty pretty simple especially when it comes with our our mouse this part should be a fairly quick process and as long as you know that you can always come back and erase things it really does simplify the pen tool quite a bit because i know i don't have to have everything perfect i don't have to align everything and i can just come back and clean everything up so that i would definitely say and just kind of some little tidbits as we are moving forward with your different techniques is you can always hide things within fatter lines so that might be a good little thing to start with you have brushes. You also have all sorts of different brushes that are kind of hiding in there. So it's kind of fun to just see what the basic ones are. So if I go in, right, I can come into brush libraries and they already have some libraries for you that are kind of fun to just play with and just see what are available. So a lot of like ink lines and or dry brush lines, things like that, you might find those. And a lot of people will have some for free online. So if you have something specific in mind, uh, definitely just do some Google searching and you might be able to find it. So what we're going to do on the next tutorial is we're going to move into different ways of coloring our characters. And there are some really, really easy ones. And then... I think they're all pretty easy. Some of them are going to be a little bit more straightforward than others. So I will see you on the next tutorial. Congratulations on completing the day two challenge with the adding our brushes and our cleanup. And I will see you on the next demonstration, which is going to be all about our color.